welcome back. My name's Jessica Hartsword. I'm a professional illustrator from Jessie Illustrates and I love everything creative. Today we're going to create something really exciting. We're going to be drawing a corgi as part of the Queen's Jubilee celebration. Okay, so let's start to draw our corgi. So you can probably just about see I've got an outline underneath. I've drawn my corgi under here, just so I've got a, a bit of a template. So we're going to start with his head. We're going to do an arch, like a bridge over. And then we're going to go upwards to create these really long ears. Corgis have really long ears, don't they? So I'm drawing in black so you can see. I've done the long ears, come back down. We're going to do the wobbly bits of hair. So wiggling like that and then coming down towards his chin. Now I'm going to go back up to the top here and we're going to draw the other ear. So over here we go, up to the top, nice and pointy and back down. At the moment he looks a little bit like Pikachu, doesn't he? We're going to come wibbly wobbling out to the side again and then back down towards the chin. So we've got the outline of the head. Let's add in some features. So I'm going to add in two eyes, so just two dots. So one here, nice round circle, colour that in. And another one here, so opposite. And I'm going to give him an eyebrow. Whoop, like that. And an upside down N, isn't it? Uh, upside down U, sorry. There we go. And a nice big nose, so an arch over, a bit like a triangle that's a bit rounded. Colour that in. And dogs often have this sort of line here. They do a nice big smile like that. And a tongue, so like this. Down and around like that. Okay, how are we doing? Remember, you can stop the video at any time if you need to catch up. So what we're going to do now is the inside of the ears. So I'm going to do a line and then create an inner ear like that. And the same on the other side. So a line across and then up and over like that. And what the corgis have, when you colour it in, if you'd like to colour it in, is orange and white patches. So the white patches come down through the nose like this and around like that. I'm doing it quite wiggly because of the fur. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of white sort of patch there as well. Like that. So those bits would be orange. Okay, so we've done the, the face. I'm going to add a crown on actually because it's a royal occasion. So a little line up, bending slightly, you're going to go down, back up, so zigzags, like so. Maybe some dots for gems. Let's do the body. So I'm going to make it a bit wobbly because of the fur, it's very furry, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to come down and around towards the feet. Now the feet are going to come out like paws, like that, and come back up again towards the body. And then I'm going to stop there. I'm going to come across from about halfway from the leg. I'm going to make an arch and go back up again into the body. And then we're going to come back down to create a paw, so another paw print. Do a wiggly line to suggest a bit of fur again. And I'm going to give some lines here to give the impression of little feet, little paws, like that. Okay, let's carry on with the rest of the body. So from this top edge up here, I'm going to go downwards as if it's sitting down. I'm give a little stumpy tail and the bottom there. And then because he's sat down, we're not going to see all of the leg. So I'm going to do a flat bit, do a little paw like that and back up again. 
add those pore bits in. And then we're gonna add the belly like that. Now again, we might have white bits on here, so I'm, I'm where the orange goes. So we're gonna do a line like that. And then a line like that. And it might even have orangey bits here. So white pores at the end, like that. And anyone that knows my work, we can't just leave the dot like that because he's floating in the air, he's flying. So let's draw a background line. That makes it look like he's sitting on the ground. Uh, do an invisible line across his body and carry it on here. And I think I might do a little dog bowl for him. So let's make him a royal dog bowl. So I've done a circle that's squished like that. I'm going to do a slanted line down, another slanted line down, and join those together. But I'm arching and that makes it look 3D. I'm going to do a little crown on mine make it look very royal like that and oh what should I put in I'll do some wobbly lines so it looks like it's food in there like that um, and maybe should I give him a collar let's give him a collar so from this top line here we go all the way around and then you can color that in and do a little circle for that collar and that's your corgi finished <laughs> How did you get on? Did you create a fantastic corgi? Remember, you can always post your fabulous drawings on my Facebook page or send them to me on, through my website, which is www.jessicahartson.com. And remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more drawing videos. See you soon. Bye.